Hello and welcome to this hotfix video for the Ultimate Character Project. First of all, thank you so much for all the support you've given to the Ultimate Character Project. As a token of my appreciation, I'm excited to announce that I'm working on Ultimate Character 2. The best part? This new project will be free for all Ultimate Character users. Some great updates are coming, so be sure to join my Discord server to get the news. Also, if you'd like to support my YouTube channel, please watch my videos in full, even if you play them in the background on your PC. This helps increase my watch time and brings me closer to the YouTube earnings milestone. I decided to record this quick video to show you how to fix a common issue in the Ultimate Character Project. I hope this solution works for you. First, open the content browser and find the base character class. From the functions list, add the begin play function to the graph. Then create a custom event and name it load character mesh or anything else you prefer. Call this new event from the begin play event. Before moving on, go back to the content browser and open the AI character class. Find the begin play event, right click on it, select add call to parent function, and reconnect the wires. Compile and save the function, then you can close this class. Now, return to the base character class and our new event. Search for async load asset. We need a variable to store a reference to the skeletal mesh. Create a new variable and ensure you select its type as skeletal mesh and object reference. You can place this variable next to other important ones by changing the category. Drag it onto the graph and connect it to the asset node. After the load is complete, we need to check if the returned object is valid. If it is, we can set that mesh to the character mesh component. Search for set skinned asset and update. And connect the character mesh to the new mesh node. We can also set the animation blueprint class. Search for set anim instance class. Promote the class to a variable so we can change the class for every character. And set the category again so it will be next to the character mesh. As a safety check, if the loaded object is not valid, we can set a two second timer to reload the character mesh. Once that's done, compile and save the class. Then go to the content browser and click Save All. Now, let's test with the Bomber Boggy character. In the Details tab, find the Ultimate Character category and set the new variables to proper values. Compile and save the class, and we're ready to test. As you can see, the characters are loaded properly. Let me clear the default mesh and animation to make sure everything is working. This time everything is working again as it should be. Please set the character mesh and animation class variables in all classes. Thank you for your incredible support. Please subscribe to the channel and continue watching my videos to help grow my channel.